everyone welcome back to my youtube channel now in this video i'm going to show you how do you insert equation in a blackboard so what you see here is actually partial of the blackboard interface with here i mean you can see there are actually one three two and three three rows of uh, two that you may use in case you can't see it, what you do is you navigate over the right hand corner, there are four buttons, one, two, three, four. You might want to press on this button, it will toggle, it will show more, and it will come out, and we'll do it again. You can see all three, but I mean three rows of uh, two that you can you may actually make use of. Now, I'm going to enlarge this area so that uh, you can see it better. So I press on the second button, full screen, and this is what you see. If in the event that you need to key in an equation, what you can do, you should at least write down the equation on a piece of uh, paper. What are the equations you need? So when you key it in, it's so much easier for you. Say for example, I already have uh, my equation ready, written on a piece of uh, paper. So all I need to do is to key it in to this area. Now, to do so, you got to make use of um, any one of those uh, um, uh, button over here. From what you can see, for example, um, if you want to look for the moment, say for example, um, you may want to give some description of what the equation represents. So, M O M E N T, moment about point, for example, a point A example then you may start to type in your equation now how you do that now um, navigate your mouse you can see my mouse okay over here fx is actually a function yeah okay this is actually a, a window will pops up in case in the event that you can see it most probably your browser block it pops up button so uh, you may want to press it a few more times a few press it another time then you look at the uh, the uh, browser they might have a pop I mean lock pop up okay you need to allow that pops up okay or otherwise you can't see this window okay so here there are a few tabs that comes up with lots of symbol to use but since we are looking at for moment about per point then we will go to get the submission so this is the the tab that we need to press so we press on this tab and you choose the right one I mean the the, the one that you might suits you so I think this is the one that will suit me and I would type I need to start type from here so submission of moment you use navigation key you press to the left you press another time then what happened you say moment get M then you use a cursor key you press to the right again then the cursor will go down subscript this is the point A I will I'm going to represent it moment number point A and then you want to give it a direction okay whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise is positive so what you need to do is go to the front to the left again use a castle key to the left and then you need to insert the direction so it's not available here then you need to look around the tabs and you try to find one that's relevant oh yeah I can see it go to the right you see this is where the notation so a dot with a circle this represents a counterclockwise because a dot comes out okay counterclockwise if it were to be clockwise then it will be a cross I mean an X in a circle so that represents going into the plane which means it's clockwise so here this is counterclockwise counterclockwise moment about point A equals to zero that's a point that you're trying to uh, bring out meaning that this object it's undergo um, static equilibrium that's fulfilled static equilibrium so therefore you press enter another line then you may actually key in the uh, equation um, R cross F you have it maybe perhaps you will start with open bracket 0.2 um, meter but I'm going to oh meter so that's easier for me to see or maybe I don't want to use the unit maybe I'll use the unit towards the end of the equation this is R I will cross F it's 500 Newton it's 
positive because it is actually counterclockwise from the free boy diagram I have drawn on a piece of paper. So in your answer or perhaps in your working, I would just want to have a general equation so I would know that okay, it is doing it right. So the second um, term would be a negative because it is actually clockwise. So it's negative r it's 0 0.2 again f it's actually something that I need to look for say for example in this case it's actually by normal force in B so um maybe I need to use this one I mean go to this tab and then this is by so I can have a by here what can you do it's uh, I have a B perhaps y meaning represents by the vertical force or perhaps the normal force and then that's basically all about it based on what I've calculated on a piece of paper equals zero and therefore from here by setting point A zero therefore I can actually find out the another point um, let me find out what is the day for button they are going to have a day for button so that it looks great I'm able to present my answer the right or perhaps in a very professional way closer nearer to the actual case well I can't find a symbol maybe it's not here can't find it here is there three dots available oh so sad it doesn't have a three dot no obviously blackboard doesn't have a three dot day four Oh yes, it's here, hidden, right? You see it? So it's in the second tab, you go towards the end, it's a cap, a uh, univector cap perhaps, okay? So there's a day four. Um, you may either copy this term, I'm going to copy it, copy, and then paste, control V, paste, equals to, well, I've calculated the height of time, so I know it's 500, and Newton. N. We will need without number without units meaningless. So that's the first part I need to do. Then I may proceed with others. For example, um, I want to get positive right and then sum of x. Let's go zero. So what you do? Maybe I'll go to here. But since I need to have submission, then I might as well use the submission. Then f it's actually a force. I'm talking about the x horizontal force. It's also equals zero because um, it is at static equilibrium. But now the tricky part is do I have the right arrow? I think this is the arrow. I'll go to this tab. Um, maybe I use to the right positive. I maybe I use to the right represent positive or positive. So I want to say positive to the right. Then you're quite fit to go maybe to another line. I have looked for the another point perhaps now um, well maybe my a x it's um, pointing to the left so I going to go for negative negative a and uh, do I have a subscript yeah maybe this is a subscript a x perhaps all right then a uh, key to the right maybe give enough space so that you distinguish the term and uh, that's 500 I have calculated earlier um, sign this is what I have sign is actually the limit then you press on limit tab this tab here uh, me, me, okay can you see it okay this do it again okay here limit you have sign then uh, my sign it's uh, sign 30 so sign 30 to tell that it's not um, it is not radian so I put degree so here I get a degree to tell it's actually degree so maybe Newton equals to zero put a space in between the term so it looks good and then therefore I solve it uh -huh. I'm going to copy this from what you can see earlier maybe I press on enter next line then uh, I will go back to the one with the cap, you see, alright, the same symbol. Therefore, if 
I do it correctly now I want to insert space so that it looks space again equals to I have performed this calculation earlier is 250 Newton okay so um, the same is true with um, vertical force so when it goes to vertical force then um, go to arrow perhaps this time round too bad that it doesn't have an arrow that points upwards positive I couldn't actually find it so do let me know if you get pointing up positive or maybe um, this is a pointing up positive maybe I use this arrow to represent uh, going up positive okay I, I do not have one okay so here maybe I use force y equals to zero sum of force equals zero semicolon but now how am I going to represent positive going up okay there, there isn't any there isn't any symbol to represent that this is really embarrassing to the fact that uh, well there's no mathematic symbol so I need to be creative so what can I do with it is I'm going to use perhaps an arrow I'm still looking maybe I use this perhaps I use positive and then I use a cap perhaps to represent um, symbol goes up there isn't any actually you can there isn't much arrow you can find so I'm going to add in shift 6 perhaps you can have cap ah uh -huh, okay I think that is it the best I can find that's most probably the best I could find there's no arrow pointing upwards okay I couldn't find any arrow that points upwards so you could make do with what I have well never mind this is what I have so point upwards or perhaps if you can find it maybe I want to use oh this arrow a cap okay positive go up positive so therefore I have my going up A and then my subscript Y this is the reaction force at point A vertical up and then I'll uh, give a space subtract 500 it's actually the mass Newton ah okay we'll do a Newton this time round be some previous line then 500 followed by sine sign and then the angle oh no it's not sign <coughs> I've mistaken it's not sign it's supposed to be cos it's cos 30 degree and uh, the angle of degree just now where do I find it it's here yeah okay epsilon theta degree Newton be sure not to forget Newton space equals zero it's static equilibrium then therefore I want to copy whatever here, over here copy down to here and paste it down here all I need to do is change the subscript to Y and the answer which I calculated earlier is 903 Newton and that's all about it so once you are once you're satisfied with this working be sure not to do be sure to press on the accept okay you press accept then it will turns out in your final answer once you are satisfied with this then you may proceed by pressing a uh, save button okay down there I mean you scroll down press on save button or perhaps you may want to uh, press on the um, submit okay if you are satisfied with all the answer you press the submit or otherwise you save this working and you proceed to the next one okay so um, that's basically all about it this time round subscribe to my channel if this is your first time watching my video subscribe to my channel for more upcoming to go and I appreciate the thumbs up button until then, see you next time.